Come with us as we arrive in Cancun, explore the downtown area, and take a day trip to Isla Mujeres on a budget. Right after going through customs, which only took about five minutes, we purchased ADO tickets at the booth inside the airport for around $8 US. This will take us to downtown Cancun, and it's the cheapest way to get to Cancun Centro. ADO buses are safe and run on schedule pretty often throughout the day, with charging stations, AC, TVs, bathrooms, and comfy seats. You can take your smaller bags with you and they can also store your larger luggage for you on the bus. Estimate around 30 minutes to get to the downtown bus station. From here you can take the R1 bus to the hotel zone for less than $1. We decided to walk 10 minutes to Mercado 28 to grab some lunch. This market has become popular with tourists to buy souvenirs or try some of the local food. We arrived on a chilly, cloudy and windy day. And we went to Ojaldras y Donas to have some affordable, tasty chilaquiles and cantaloupe agua fresca. We then walked about 10 minutes towards Walmart to catch the R2 bus. We had a really quick ride that left us right in front of our accommodations in the hotel zone. Stick around till the end of the video if you want to check out the really nice apartment we stayed at. While we waited for our place to be ready, on this chilly and windy day, we headed across the street to Playa Tortugas, which is popular with the locals. This is also where one of the ferries leave from, which we will be taking tomorrow morning to Isla Mujeres. There is a restaurant here and nice rocky areas to sit and relax. We had a little snack before checking in and then headed to downtown Cancun in the evening on the R1 bus. I always tell the bus driver where I'm going and they always let me know when we get there. Here we arrived at the municipal palace where you can see the Cancun sign. And as you can also see, they were setting up the Christmas tree. Our initial plan was to visit Parque Las Palapas so that we could pig out on street food and souvenir shop. But come to find out that it is going through a renovation. We were told it would be up and running again until March or April of 2024. So we had a quick bite, some mesquite, and ended up eating at this restaurant here. Ultramar Ferry located at Playa Tortugas was across the street from where we stayed in the hotel zone. We bought our round trip tickets here. <laughs> there is an Oxo here, which is a very well known convenience store. So we picked up something to drink and eat for breakfast. It is something like a 7 Eleven, but with a well equipped warm food section where someone will prepare the food for you. and had a nice breakfast while we waited for the 9.30 ferry to arrive. If you are enjoying this video, click like and please subscribe.
The ferry has inside seating on the main level or open air seating on the second level. We had a pleasant ride with live entertainment. Although my one complaint leaving from this location was the stop at Playa Caracol before heading across to Isla Mujeres. It took at least an hour to get there. And during a vacation, time is precious. Once we arrived at Isla Mujeres, we weren't sure if we would rent a golf cart or not, since it would depend on pricing. And the talk about ridiculous golf prices were true. $70 for a few hours on a rinky-dink cart? No thanks. <laughs> We wanted to avoid a tour, but ended up opting for one since we would still have time to explore afterwards. And they had us at all you can eat, tikin chic. We paid around $45 each. We had time to walk around and get some pictures before heading out with the tour. We got on a boat and visited Playa Norte, which is rated as one of the top beaches in the world. Note, it was pretty cloudy and windy, so we couldn't see the beach in all its splendor. After this, they brought us to a government protected area to snorkel. Here is where they have the statue of the Virgin Mary. We also have a stop at an area with dolphins, in case anyone wanted to partake. However, nobody wanted to, especially for the additional high price. At our last stop, we ended up at this restaurant where we relaxed as they prepared our food. And we got to try the famous Tikin Sheik fish dish. This was so delicious and so worth it. I know it doesn't look like much or anything fancy, but I can't stop thinking about it still. Here they also give you a chance to take a picture with a small shark. But we also opted out of this since it was just sad to see the shark in a tiny enclosure. Our tour was over and we had time to go to Punta Sur. We didn't see the bus as we strolled for a bit and wanting to save time, we took a taxi. Always ask for the price of your ride before getting in as they try to take advantage. When at the ferry station, there is a board with fares listed so that you know how much you should be paying for each ride. I knew I shouldn't be paying more than 150 pesos to get to Punta Sur. And the first taxi we asked quoted us 300 pesos, double the fare he should be charging. The next taxi quoted us 150 pesos, as it should be. Punta Sur is the first place in all of Mexico for the sun to rise making it popular in the early mornings for sunrise and also for sunset as you can view the sun setting over the Cancun skyline. There isn't much shade so the heat can get intense if you visit in the middle of the day.
Here in Punta Sur, you can visit what is left of the ruins of the goddess Ischel. Most of it has been taken with hurricanes and over time. It is located on a high cliff where you can view these statues which tell a little bit of the story about the goddess and some brief history. There is a small fee of around $6 to enter the Punta Sur section. After watching the sunset over the Cancun skyline, we took a taxi back to the ferry station for 150 pesos once again. We then got onto the ferry with more live entertainment, made a stop at Playa Caracol, before being let off at Playa Tortugas. And for those of you who are curious and would like to know where we stayed, the place is called TAC. It is more of a condo style apartment, but it is run a bit like a hotel. You do have a front desk. You do get a bracelet that you have to wear, and there is always a security guard present at the door. The place was very nice, very clean, fully equipped with a full kitchen, two bathrooms, a very, very nice terrace, and we even had a washer and dryer. We paid around $330 US for a three night stay. There is also a rooftop area with a pool and an amazing view of the hotel zone of Cancun. Now tomorrow we will be waking up really early in the morning to get to the Adeo bus station in downtown Cancun and catching the bus to Valladolid where we will be checking out a cenote and enjoying the small town colonial vibes of this Pueblo Magico. So make sure to subscribe.